Hi, it's Scott Wimpy here from First Aid, Accident and Emergency, the defibrillator partner to Parkrun Australia. We put this educational video together for you to show you how to use the HeartSign 360p defibrillator within your Parkrun. If there's a critical incident at your Parkrun event, it's important to know what to do. So we've put together the Parkrun Chain of Survival to help you to look after any of the Parkrunners if they suffer a cardiac arrest or have a major incident within the event. The first step in the Parkrun Chain of Survival is early access. This means recognising that there is a serious incident and activating someone to call an ambulance from the scene and also sending someone to the parkrun director to retrieve the defibrillator and any first aid supplies that may be relevant. The second step in the parkrun chain of survival is to immediately start CPR if the patient is not breathing and unresponsive. This should be happening the whole time while the defibrillator is being retrieved. We recommend using the Emergency Plus app to call the ambulance service. This gives your actual location and you can pass this on to the ambulance service. The third step in the parkrun chain of survival is to apply the defibrillator to the patient's chest. Simply place the defibrillator next to the patient and turn the device on. Adult patient. Call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. In the back of the defibrillator package, you'll have the patient prep kit. In this kit, you'll have everything you need to remove any clothing from the patient's chest. This must be done to be able to apply the defibrillator effectively. Cut the clothing off using the shears. It's also important to remember to continue compressions on the patient's chest while this is being done. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. Place the defibrillator pads on the patient's chest in the driver's seat belt position. One pad on the top right hand side of the chest and the other on the bottom left hand side under the left nipple. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing. Do not touch the patient. Stand clear of patient. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Continue CPR on the patient's chest following the prompts of the defibrillator. If the patient starts to breathe, stop CPR, place the patient into recovery position and monitor until the ambulance service arrives. The last step in the parkrun chain of survival is the ambulance arriving. Once they turn up, they will take over, stabilise the patient and transport the patient to a medical facility. Please remember to notify Parkrun HQ via the critical incident line and they will notify you on the correct procedures and steps to do from here. If you have used your HeartSign 360p defibrillator, it's recommended that you change the battery and the pads. It's very easy to do and I'll show you how to do this for your device now. To reinstall the new pad pack once the device has been used or the battery and pads have expired, then what you need to do is place the defibrillator flat on a surface. There's two clips on each side of the pad and battery pack as you can notice here. Okay, just a matter of unclipping that and pulling that out. 
okay? That will take out the back section of this defibrillator, which is the pads and the battery pack in one. Quite simply, replace it over with the new pack. Note the expiry date and confirm it matches the dates on the Park Run hub. Put it flat on the table and quite simply plug this in to the device, sliding it until it clicks. The device will now have a green light flashing here, but we do recommend that you just turn this device on. Adult patient, call. And then turn it off to make sure it is in good working order. That can then go back into the case, observing our green flashing light here that flashes every 10 seconds. It's also recommended that you check your heart sign 360p defibrillator each week before the event. That's also quite simple to do, and it's just a matter of having a look on the top right hand side of the device here, and you'll notice that there is a green flashing light. This means the system and the defibrillator is good to go. If the device does a self test check and realises there is a fault within the device, whether the battery or the actual program, then this indicator will no longer flash green, it will flash red, and it will actually beep quite loudly every 10 seconds. If your device is beeping at you every 10 seconds, notify Parkrun Australia immediately, and they'll organise to send a new pad and battery pack out for you to exchange in your device. We hope you've enjoyed this instructional video on how to use your HeartSign 360p defibrillator. I'd like to thank the team at Varsity Lakes Park Run and Park Run Australia. Oh, and by the way, we hope you never have to use your heart sign 360p defib. But if you do, this educational video at least gives you some simple steps.